What to do if an executor is not communicating with beneficiaries? If an executor is not communicating with beneficiaries, it can lead to trouble. An executor owes the beneficiaries of the estate they're administering a fiduciary duty. This means that the executor must exercise reasonable care and act in the best interests of those beneficiaries. As part of that fiduciary duty, an executor has a responsibility to keep beneficiaries reasonably informed about the administration of the estate. Now, this does not mean that the executor must communicate every decision they make or every action they take, although it's usually a good idea. That being said, executors generally must provide beneficiaries with enough information to understand the nature of the assets of the estate, the debts the estate owes, and how the property is going to be distributed. This information will typically be provided through an inventory and appraisal of the estate's assets, updated appraisals, probate referee appraisals, and accountings that are usually filed when an estate is prepared to distribute and close. That being the case, the executor can always provide more information and more frequently. If the executor of an estate fails to keep beneficiaries reasonably informed about the will's administration, or if they have evidence the executor is engaging in misconduct or mismanagement, they have the right to petition the probate court to have the executor suspended or removed. Can an executor sell real estate or property? Yes, an executor can sell real estate or property in most cases. Under California Probate Code Section 10,000, personal representative may sell real or personal property of the estate in any of the following situations. One, where the sale is necessary to pay debts, devices, family allowance, expenses of administration, or taxes. Two, where the sale is to the advantage of the estate and in the best interest of the interested persons, which means the beneficiaries. Three, where the property is directed by the will to be sold. Four, where authority is given in the will to sell the property. However, even in these instances, there may be limitations on when an executor can sell property. For example, executors will often be able to sell the estate's personal property without court or beneficiary approval, but only as long as they sell the property for at least 90% of the appraised value. And while an executor still might be able to sell property for less than 90% of the appraised value, if they do, they're running the risk of being surcharged for the difference. But on the other hand, an executor may need court approval from the court and or consent from the beneficiary beneficiaries before they can sell real estate. It all depends on the level of authority granted to them by the will and the court. When the court has only granted an independent executor limited authority to act, they must obtain the court's permission before selling real property. During this process, beneficiaries will have an opportunity to come to court and object if they believe that the proposed sale is unsuitable, usually for less than what they think it's worth. What is a DE-165? A DE-165 is a form, specifically it's a California probate form known as a notice of proposed action. When a personal representative who's been granted authority to independently administer an estate wants to take certain actions, such as selling real estate. They should provide a DE-165 to every beneficiary whose interest in the estate would be affected by the proposed action at least 15 days before they take that action. If one or more beneficiaries do not want the personal representative to take the action that's listed in the DE-165 form, they can submit a written objection to the executor. If the personal representative still wants to move forward with the proposed action, they're gonna need to get approval from the probate court to do what they proposed they would do. In addition to returning the DE-165 form to the personal representative, the disapproving beneficiary can also file their objection to that notice of proposed action with the probate court, whether or not the personal representative should be allowed to take the action they propose. The objecting beneficiary may also be able to obtain an order prohibiting the personal representative from taking that same action. What can beneficiaries do to get their rightful inheritance? If a beneficiary disagrees with anything an executor is doing, they can submit a written objection to the executor. And if the executor fails to respond and fails to keep you informed, you may have some of the evidence you need to have them suspended or removed or to force them to do what they're supposed to do. If the executor has issued a notice of proposed action, essentially telling you what they want to do and what will happen if you don't object, you can object to the notice of proposed action. And the executor, in most instances, is gonna seek court approval before acting. The time in between will allow you and the executor to work things out. And if you're not able to, then you and the executor will be allowed to present your arguments to the probate court. The probate court will then decide whether or not to allow the executor to do what they propose. For example, 
whether they're going to permit the sale of property that you're objecting to. When should I contact a probate litigation attorney? If you're the beneficiary of an estate and you're concerned about the executor's proposed actions or lack of communication, or if you're an executor of an estate and you're being challenged by a beneficiary or heir, you should discuss your situation with a probate litigation attorney as soon as possible. A probate litigation attorney can help you determine the best method forward to help you protect yourself and protect your inheritance. In some situations, you may only need to object to a notice of proposed action or file one. In some cases, having a probate lawyer may help open the lines of communication so that you're working well together. However, in cases involving serious misconduct, the attorney may recommend that you petition the court either to protect yourself if you're an executor or if you're a beneficiary to have the executor suspended or removed. Whatever the case, you wanna make sure that you're protecting what your loved one intended for you and that you're receiving your rightful inheritance. Have questions? At RMO, we protect people like you every day. Schedule a free consultation at rmolawyers.com or just give us a call or shoot us an email. Thanks for watching.